once this part is down with the A minor, when the chorus comes in, the pattern is going to change. We're basically going to go for a C chord, which is going to be C, E, and G. So if we do it with the left hand, the pinky would hit C, the middle would hit E, and the thumb would hit G. If we do it with the right hand, we could hit C with our thumb, middle C, middle finger is going to go to E, and then G is going to be with our pinky finger. And then we're going to hit four of those. One, two, three, four. And then we're going to go to a G chord, which if we're doing it with our right hand, thumb goes to G, middle goes to B, pinky goes to D. And then we're going to do four of those. One, two, three, four. And then we're going to go to the chord we did in the beginning of the song, which was A, C, and E. And we'll do four of those. And the last one is going to be an F chord. So F is going to be thumb on F, middle finger on A, and then pinky on C. And same thing, we're going to do four single quarter notes. So when we put it all together, we're going to have four C's, four G's, A minor, and then F. And then the same pattern applies if we're doing it with our left hand. We can hit pinky, middle, thumb. So pinky would hit the first, middle would hit the third, and then thumb would hit the fifth. And we do the same exact notes. One, two, three, four. And then we have the G chord. So pinky, middle, thumb. Pinky, G, middle, B, thumb, D. Two, three, four. And then we go to the A, which is one key up each. So I have pinky, A, middle, C, Thumb on E, one, two, three, four, and then we end with the F chord. So pinky, F, middle, A, and then C with the thumb. And same thing, four. One, two, three, four. So it really doesn't make a difference which hand you do that part with. I would say do whichever one you feel most comfortable with. Now when we do it all the way through, again, this is the chorus part. So it's I want you Sorry for my terrible voice, but that's where the singing goes in that part of the song. So that would be the chorus part. And just like the other song or the other part of the song where we made an easier version of it, you can do the same thing here. We can just hit the first two notes, C and E, and then we can hit G and B, and then A and C, and then F and A. If we do the easier version, again, it's the same exact rhythm. We're following, following single quarter notes, and we're doing four of each. So in the easier version, we were going one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And the good news is once you have that down, you also have down basically Let It Be by the Beatles, and Don't Stop Believing by Journey because it's going to be the same exact chord. So that's that song.